Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X, here to do the final episode of What If Season 1 from Marvel. It is going to be an amazing one. I'm super excited. I wasn't a big fan of the writing last episode. I still think it was done by a toddler, but um, aside from that, it's still a fun little fight, uh, even if the writing to get there really was done very, very lazily. And I'm excited to see where they take it in next season because I think next season's already been confirmed. Plus, we always get to see the Watcher fight and do whatever with the Doctor Strange from last episode. For those of you who haven't watched the last episode, well, why are you watching episode 9? Go watch the last episode. Speaking of, support the original content creator because without them, we don't get all this amazing content. Uh, and yeah, it, it just doesn't work out that way, does it? So, we gotta give them some monies. Oh, we gotta try to give them some monies. I, I'm broke too, so do what you can when you can, and uh, try to support your favorite content if you want to see more of it. Like I said, despite a couple of episodes, I think I so far two out of the nine or eight that we had seen I didn't like, so that's a pretty good. That's uh, 75%, so we'll see how this last episode goes. I think it's gonna be probably maybe a little longer. I don't know, I didn't look at the time, and hopefully it'll be a little more epic and fun to wrap up the season. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to the patrons who were able to check this out with a little bit of early access and are also able to check this out full audio, full video, none of those cuts I got to do for YouTube. So thank you guys as always. I appreciate you. And if you have any suggestions, as always, just hit me up on Patreon or in the Discord where everyone else can come and chat with us as well. You can also chat with us in the comments below. Thanks again for everyone watching on YouTube as well. I appreciate all the likes and comments and uh, info. When you guys give me info I don't have, uh, I also just love chatting with you, so feel free to hit me there. With that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. It is time to get episode 9 of What If, the final episode. Oh my god, I actually think it's shorter than the other ones. What is that about? They were about to send up their last payload when pirates took the ship. Oh. They're just going to get all of them. I thought so. Okay. Don't stop right there. You know, Bernard in accounting was asking about you. Nothing good has ever followed the phrase Bernard. <laughs> it's so funny because that's a mirror of the... What if his name what was she... Steve? Ouch! Just when we were becoming pals, Widow. Yeah, it's so funny she did that same thing for Steve, obviously. I also love that she's doing the whole fucking... Water drop. So this is uh, Civil War era, right? So does that mean Steve's gonna be the... Captain Carter, the soldier lost in time. Yep, you hey. Have been chosen. Punch! It's like, I thought that would be funny. Oh god, yes! Hey! Boom! That's dope. I, this is cool. This is a nice collection scene. I wondered if they were gonna do this because we had kind of seen. Hang back with the uh, giant baby man cape dude, survivor of Sakar and destroyer of Thanos, and the one who's about to kick your moon-shaped ugly mother. Huh? Not you, Stark. You. <laughs> have been chosen. So she killed Thanos in that one. What was episode three again? Okay, this I remember four. What was episode three again? This is actually should be where Ultron Ultron is. This is where he showed up, right? Nobody messes with Vegas. And you. Thor. And you. And you. Thor Odinson. <laughs> Fixed him up in his hands. Ah! Oh my god. What? Wow. I know what this is. Loki put you up to this joke. Listen, I do not have time for his pranks today. No, 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 I, w I wouldn't do that. My lady Jane needs me, so how are we going? Enjoy this. He told him not to. Hey, a screaming death vortex. Gotta love those. We're in. Mind telling us what we're up against? In my universe, Steve Rogers received the serum. Now that would be a sight to see. And a sight I think everybody else in their universe probably saw. Well, no, there were a couple that hadn't, uh, no, they were still ones that had him, but. Ooh, Killmonger being bad. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it. Well, hello there. Non-compliant. He's giving him a lot of glyph wording and sigils like the other strange did. It's a protection spell. You're welcome. Wow. Say I've heard that battle cry before. I was say it's one of those things where with without like a I guess the Doctor Strange protection spell helps them. Besides that, yeah, he, they'd all be dead otherwise. Well, not from that though. Like most of the, a lot of them could live through the falling rocks, but he literally. Ah, oh, see, that's not bad. Weird spear they gave Ultron, not gonna lie. Not supposed to know if it's like Lumir or whatever, I don't know. Woo, cool. Oh, and then she grabs a hammer. That's dope. Punk. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, his protection spell's done for. Oh, he took one of the stones! How dumb is Ultron to not be, like, keeping track of those stones like that? He didn't even notice it's gone. Damn. Yeah, you're, you're a bit of a loser for not noticing that. Also for leaving it... Yeah, now he's using the stones. I don't even think he was using them before. Like, the one when he collapsed the... There we go! Oh, they brought the zombies! Yes, this is such a shout out to Secret Wars 2015. They just planted a. So, not great writing if they're not gonna. Oh no, Scarlet Witch! Where's Zombie Thanos? Oof, yeah, she is a high level reality warper. If anybody could beat an Infinity Stone, it would be her. But I guess not. They just blew up the planet. She's not yours. You know she's not your thing, but we must <laughs> that's that's stupid. That's so fucking bad writing again. God damn it! So stupidly bad. I can't even get into the number of things that's so wrong with that. There we go. That's supposed to be the level of the Infinity Gauntlet, and above, way above that. That's. I'm not gonna lie. That's. Oh, he ate it. Once again, you, you sh the, the Infinity Gauntlets in the comics, right, have that excessively high level of power. Like, that would be nothing to them. Nothing would be nothing to them. Like, Thor and a couple other people can probably do that and blow up a galaxy or... Wow, he really did. Right? He's like, what? This is at least a good fight scene where they're, like, giving decent fight stuff. Although, once again... Oh, he doesn't have the full gauntlet. I forgot. He's now short on the full gauntlet. So he isn't able to do anything he wants. He's just short of everything. I forgot about that, that they had stolen the soul gem already. Duh. It's good action sequences, though. Like the choreography. Meanwhile... I was going to say, nobody grabbing it just a bunch of... That was an interesting uh, visual shot, though. Damn, girl! So he released the things. That's also one of those things they could have done, too, was that whole Shumagorath thing. Definitely strong enough to challenge an Infinity Gauntlet. Interesting animation for it. So then he went small. Or he made him small, I'm not sure. Oh, it's grabbing all of them? You should've just destroyed one, then you can't fix the others. But now she's gonna have it. Okay. There's no way it's over that easy. No f way. That's all I gotta say about that. Is, is that it? Is, is it over? We win? Yeah? Not so hard? It doesn't feel over. Oh, I'll say the animations are at least interesting. 
I also think it would be a really tough job to do, depending on, but we don't know what monsters he's actually absorbed. We've just seen a decent amount of them. Uh-oh. There goes Carter. Or no, is that Romanov? Ooh. There they go flying. The arrow. Alright, at least they brought that back around. I was like, they totally had seemed to abandon it until they came back hey, to this world. Yes, the cosmic being, but still uh, vulnerable to a virus. Oh, is he gonna destroy Strange? Ooh, in the eye, nice. Damn! Alright, explode. That was pretty cool, though. It's interesting, because the animation looks cool, but some of it has some rough coloring palettes in, in sections. Now this would be funny as hell if it didn't work. Now here's the thing, I couldn't... No. Did they really end it with Zola, the garbage just of garbage technos? Couldn't have picked any of the better techno paths? Or tech, tech runners, any of them? God. Oh well. They, they needed someone in their universe, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go for that. I like that he still has a science tattoo. A nasty one. Whoa, don't talk about that kind of stuff out loud. No. <laughs> oh, he takes the armor. Thought he might do something like that. Oh, and those come with the armor. They really wanted to give Killmonger some love in this for no reason. That explains the stomach face. I like that they got the stomach face off, but it's honestly garbage. I was gonna say, he should at least have more control over the Technopath stuff than Killmonger. And then here comes the Watcher, right, to grab the stones to interfere. He's already interfered, so it's not like it matters. We were never meant to win. He's gonna put them in a little glass cage universe. Is that what he's doing? The way the way that he got trapped. Yep. And now he just has to. So what happens? What did the Watcher do? Seems like he probably isolated them from a universe to use the infinity, but that wouldn't matter with the way they were now. So, I don't know. Once again, the writing on this last couple episodes, uh, despite all its cool ideas, is all over the goddamn place. I will say, though, still a really good season. This one, not so bad as the one before it. Unfortunately, it does share some of the same like sins because it's based on the episode before failed infinity crusher to killmonger's betrayal and my once you walk through that door you will return to the exact moment you left i still don't know where the uh gamora was from also what happened to zombie thanos who also had a full gauntlet go, or, did, or was he missing one i can't remember i thought he had a full gauntlet you there were so many questions Trust me, that world, that time, needs Captain Carter. Me all your secrets. Oh, is this the, uh, from when Thor and Loki's timeline, right? You were dead. Same. Okay, yeah. She totally just knows how to use it. tells me you have her spirit. Gonna ignore it, gonna ignore the bad writing. All creatures searching for a place to belong. Where is that one from? I feel like there was a cut story. There was a cut story in there. With uh Gamora and Iron Man almost certain of it. Every single world, every story is my home. And I will protect it to the end. 
Come on, after credits. I'm glad I didn't go all the way. Oh, punched in the face. Right, she was looking at the thing. I'm too fast. Don't tell me what the pirates were after. Is it Steve? Peggy, you might want to brace yourself. Is he the Winter Soldier in this one? Be the strangest thing I dealt with today. Famous last words. Still true. The Hydra Stumper. The Hydra Stumper? Yeah. And there's someone inside. Aw. They gave her her happy ending after all. That was nice of them. Is she the only one? That it? That it? That it? That was a nice way to round it out. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to front. That episode was only marginally better uh, writing-wise than the episode before. But it had way better action and cool stuff going on, honestly, in my opinion than the uh, episode 8 so I think episode 9 was definitely the better of the two but uh, not too bad I, would, I wouldn't maybe classify it as a good episode but it's okay it's an okay episode so it gets a passing grade but just not a good grade whereas for me most of the other stories got good grades uh, with the exception of episodes 8 and then the Killmonger episode um yeah I'm uh, it's just sometimes their logic flow is not there. And I don't know what the what the reasoning is for it. It's not... Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me sometimes for some of the things they're doing and the choices they make. And even the, some of the explanations they tried to give for kind of explaining away their mistakes were making more mistakes. Like, I know people think comics are like ridiculously dumb sometimes and don't care. But the, the comics oftentimes spend a lot of time making sure that their canon material, the stuff, especially the heavy main stay canon material, makes sense, flows well, logic. And so they put a lot of thought into the way some things function. And that's why they function that way. And once again, narratively, logically, in a whole bunch of other ways, uh, there, were, there were holes in the, the last couple episodes. So... With that, uh, the whole series is basically, what would that be, like six and a half out of nine, right? Because it's nine episodes. So that's not too bad. Uh, extrapolating that's probably just about like a C uh, overall, just because those, those bad episodes really can mess things up. Like it, it's one of those things where you're weirdly having a lot of kind of mediocre but not bad episodes would get you a higher score in a lot of cases than just having uh like half good and half bad right like half really good half bad or whatever it seems weird but it, it's true like just that, that's just how it works in media sometimes so for me this was good i i enjoyed it and there were some really good things there were still some holes that i feel like they left open uh some questions i had about gamora and other things where i was like i literally was like did i forget an episode or uh, the, and they even did such a good job, honestly, in that last episode. That's where I will put it on the good side is narratively and writing rise. Like, despite like some of the logic issues with the writing, the narrative stuff where they're going back to all the universes and not all at the same time, right? You went back to some of the universes to get heroes, and then we get back to some of the universes at the very end to like re-establish new stuff, right? Where we're going back to then see Natasha in the widow in the world where Black Widow died, right? So stuff like that, I think, is very important to acknowledge. And I think they did a really good job on that kind of stuff. With that said, I don't want to take too much longer. We've already been at it for a little while, and I've got to get doing more recording, more editing, more of everything, basically. So big shout-out to all the Patreon viewers. Uh, you guys really make the dream work. And as always, you get access to this early full video, full audio on the Patreon. Shout-out to everyone watching on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed watching, like, comment, etc., you know, come into the comments, check out our Discord, chat it up, and we'll have a great time. But either way, I will be not be seeing you for a while on this particular series because this is the end of Season 1. So we'll see you next time on Reactions with the Next, but probably not for Marvel's What If.